Open doors are very essential in our lives. Therefore, I pray that you shall experience open doors in every aspect of your life. Doors of favor, breakthrough, fruitfulness, divine health, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding are open to you. You will not lack anything in your life. I declare that whatever you set out to do will prosper because the Lord will open doors of blessings unto you. You shall be the head and not the tail. You will be the first and never the last because the Lord will always make a way for you. Where others could not reach, you will go beyond. Where others did not see a way, God will make a way for you because He will direct your path as you journey through life. The reason a lot of people experience setback, failure, and disappointment in life is because divine doors are not open to them. The truth is there are spiritual activities that must take place before it can happen in the physical, and I decree that you will never experience closed doors in the name of Jesus. I declare that doors of promotion are released over your life. You will go from level to level, from grace to grace, and from strength to strength. Nothing will hold you from getting to that place that the Lord has destined you to be. Anything can cause stagnation in your life is destroyed by that power in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are limitless. There is nothing that will be difficult for you to do because the Lord God will guide you. Can you remember what happened to David in 1 Samuel chapter 16 verses 11 to 13? David was just a shepherd boy taking care of animals in the bush, but the Lord took him from the bush and made him a king. This is going to be your testimony. God is going to elevate you beyond your wildest imagination. It does not matter what your present status and position is. God is taking from wherever you are to a better location in the name of Jesus. I pray for the door of breakthrough over your life what everything you have been struggling with, I declare that from this day forward, you will see them no more. The scripture says for the Egyptian you see today, you shall see them no more. Therefore, every Egyptian that has refused to live your life, the Lord will take them all away. Is it a particular illness you have been dealing with? Today, your breakthrough is here in the name of Jesus. I declare divine health to your body. Everything that has caused you pain and tears is over from this day on. That job you have been struggling to get and it is looking like it is never going to come, you shall have a testimony because the door of breakthrough is released over your life this day in the name of Jesus. You will not only get a job, but a well-paying job that will give you the comfortable lifestyle you deserve. God is taking away every darkness from your life and He's causing light to shine from that darkness that has hindered you from seeing the light. God will handle every difficulty you are going through in life. Your case might be that of finding a life partner. You have been trusting God for a life partner, but it looks like it's not forthcoming. Today, the door of breakthrough is released over you. You shall break forth from every delay in life. All those that have mocked you will be put to shame because your days for weeping are over. The season of jubilation is here. I may not know that particular thing that has caused you so much pain and tears, but what I am certain of is this. Your days of weeping are over. Just the way God healed the man that was sick for 38 years, he will wipe every tears from your eyes because the door of breakthrough is released over your life in the name of Jesus. I pray concerning the door of fruitfulness in your life. I cast out every barrenness from your life. It could be that your business has not been moving well. You always experience loss instead of profit. From today, your story will take a new turn because the Lord has opened the door of fruitfulness upon you today. Your business will never experience loss again. All the years that the locusts have eaten, the Lord will restore it onto you and you will multiply in every aspect of your life. You will not only bear fruit but good ones at that. 
The Bible gave us a story of two businessmen, Simon Peter and his brother James. They were into the business of fishing, but there was this day that they went out to fish, and the scripture recorded that they did not make any catch from morning till evening. But when they had an encounter with the door, which is Jesus, they made a catch that they had never made before. Therefore, I decree that the door of fruitfulness is open over your business. You will reap in several folds in the name of Jesus. Your case might be that you have been unable to bear a child and you have been in pain. People may have called you barren because of your inability to conceive. I declare that the door of fruitfulness is released over your life. You will give birth to promising kids in the name of Jesus. It does not matter what the doctors have said. God is the one that gives children and He will give you yours in the name of Jesus. All those that have called you barren will come and celebrate with you because the Lord has opened the door of your fruitfulness. Hannah in the Bible had to go through similar challenges. She was unable to conceive and Penina was the other wife who would always mock her because of her childlessness. But when the door of fruitfulness was open, she gave birth to Samuel, who was a servant of the Lord. Therefore, I declare that God will remember you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will perfect all that concerns you, every door that He has desired for you. I decree and declare that those doors will be open unto you in the name of Jesus. Every door that has been shut against you, I declare that it shall be opened. Every door of breakthrough, promotion, greatness, favor, prosperity, and long life, in the name of Jesus, I declare that it is open and will never be closed in the name of Jesus. You are blessed, you are favored, you are loved, and you will prosper. You will not experience lack in every area of your life. The economy of your country will not be hindrance to your wealth. Nations will borrow from you, and you will not borrow from anyone. The Lord that blessed Solomon and made him the richest man on earth will bless and favor you. I declare favor over your life, your family, your career, your business, and children. The favor of the Lord will be with you wherever you go. Wherever you step your feet into, you will dominate. Your destiny helpers will locate you this day in the name of Jesus. Lines will fall in pleasant places for you. People will go out of their way to help, favor, and bless you. You are blessed in your going out and in your coming in, and there is nothing that will stand in the way of your success in the name of Jesus. And as believers, we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemies. 1 Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9 says, For a great door and effectual is opened unto me, and there are many adversaries. This is to say that the evil ones do not want your doors to be open. They work tirelessly to see that nothing good ever comes out of you. They derive joy in seeing you suffer. But because you are a child of God, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and peculiar people, you will never fall victim of the evil people. All their evil plans to see your downfall will never come to pass in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fight all your battles. You only need to be still and know that He is God. You will only see with your eyes the reward of the wicked in the name of Jesus. The Lord will shield you from the evil ones. They may gather to plan evil, but in as much as their gathering is not of God, they will scatter. The Lord will send confusion in the camp of your enemies. All those that seek to see your downfall shall be consumed by the fire of the Lord in the name of Jesus. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, but they will not come near you, and nobody will shut the doors that the Lord has opened for you. In the name of Jesus, your enemies will not laugh over you. Their evil plans will not come past, because the Lord is your shepherd, therefore you shall not want. Every word of God will come to a fulfillment in you and your family. In the name of Jesus, you may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but you will fear no evil because the Lord is with you wherever you go. 
he will send his angels to guide and watch over your life in the name of Jesus.